How's it going guys? In today's video I'll be showing you how to make this cool circular image effect as well as this icon circle. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a large circle here and remove the fill. Then I'm gonna draw an image. Let's give it a width of 300 and a height of 400. And let's lock the height. Now we can play with the size. And let's place it here. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and move it to the bottom and also rotate it 180 degrees. Now obviously you can add your images but for this example I'm just gonna leave it with a simple color. So now select both of the images and add a stack. Then in distribute set it to space between width set that to fit and then we can play with the height to be whatever we like then we're gonna center it and duplicate it then in rotation set that to 90 then duplicate it again and set that to 135 and then duplicate it again and set it to minus 135 now you'll see that in the original i have more images in the circle so for that we're gonna need a bigger circle so if you want you can also enlarge the frame then select all of the stacks then in height let's set that to something like 2300 and now we can duplicate the stack again this time give it a rotation of 112.5 and then duplicate that make it minus 112.5 and then duplicate the stacks again and give it a rotation of 22.5 and duplicate that again and give it a rotation of minus 22.5 and now you'll have way more images okay so i applied all of the images and i played with the sizing now what we're gonna do is go to effects scroll transform and on from set the opacity to one and the scale to one and then on two make sure the rotation is set to 360 so that as we scroll it fully rotates then on transition let's put it something on like 100 so it's smooth add a top section here on our website set it to fill let's give it a color just so we can see what we're doing let's align it to the start we can duplicate the section now here in this section we can add our text so i'm just gonna write text give it a layout so it's centered and then we're going to paste our component make sure its position is absolute then center it and make sure that we remove all of the numbers and just play with the top number set it to something like this now make sure that overflow is set to visible so that we can actually see the images appear on the top section we can now add a title for the header and remove the red color so now you can play with the sizing of this section just so we get a nice gap if you want you can also add a bit of bottom padding so that the text moves on top now we don't want the bottom pictures to be visible so let's just duplicate the heading and move it to the bottom let's make sure it has a background and increase the z index so that it goes on top of the images let's give it a purple color we can leave the text here for now it doesn't really matter now you'll see that the image rotate as we scroll and we can also play with this sizing if you want to crop it or something and also we can add padding to the text here i'm going to give it a bit of top padding so that it's lower down you'll notice that in the original effect we have this fading and we also have this image glow so i'll show you how to do this right now let's draw a frame here give it a linear background set the first color to white and the second one to fully transparent now we're going to go to our frame and paste it right next to the text but set the position to absolute and then on the bottom right and left set it to zero now we can play with the height make sure that the z index is set to two so that it's on top of the images and then on our text let's set the z index to three so that it's on top of the overlay now to make the images glow we're gonna take our image component duplicate it and in style add a blur set it to something around 20 and then just make sure that it's behind our images so move it in the layer section and then it's very important that you select both of these and set the distance from the top to be something like minus 300 and the rest should be empty so you'll see here we need to remove this on the sides so that on both of the frames it's set to minus 300 then you'll see that as we scroll the images rotate now for this icon rotation effect what we're gonna do is again draw a circle remove the fill in this case i'm just gonna use squares but you can put icons so make sure it's like a distance around 40 from the bottom then just duplicate it but this time put it 40 from the top and then again duplicate it give it 40 from the left and duplicate it one more time and give it 40 from the right then we're gonna duplicate it and put it somewhere around here give it a hundred from the right and a hundred from the top then duplicate it again but this time put the hundred on the other side and again remove the 500 here put the 100 on the bottom and duplicate it again but remove the 500 and put the 100 on the right and now you'll see that when we scale the frame the circle also scales and we can now go to effects loop make sure that it's set on 360 rotation and let's give it a time of around 8 you'll see we still have a problem though because even though it rotates the circles should stay upright like the icons stay upright so what you want to do is copy the loop animation select all of the squares or icons or whatever you decide to put here paste the effect but this time put it on minus 360 instead of 360 and now you'll see that the circles stay upright but they still rotate that's it guys it's very simple feel free to use this in your project make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one